go to insta360.com, downloads, click on the Insta360 One R camera, then we're going to scroll down till we find Insta360 One firmware, check it's the latest version and press download. Give it a few minutes to download. Next we're going to check the firmware version on our current device. I swipe down, press settings and we're going to scroll down to camera info. I check out my version of the firmware is older than the current one. I go back to settings. Next what I'm going to do is format the SD card. Press confirm. You are going to lose all the data once you do this. Takes a couple of seconds. Power off the Insta 361R. And once it's shut down, you can open the door on the side and remove the micro SD card. Next, insert the micro SD card into the Mac if you've got a micro SD port. Open your downloads folder and we're looking for the Insta360 bin file. Now open your micro SD card. All we're going to do is drag the bin file into the micro SD card folder. Make sure it's on the top level of the folder, it's not inside any other folders. Close the windows. I'm going to remove the file from my downloads and then I'm going to eject the drive from the Mac. Now remove the micro SD card from the Mac card reader and then we're going to put it back into the Insta360 with the golden pins facing towards the USB-C port and then click it into place and then close the side door and make sure it's closed correctly because we don't want any water getting in there. Power up the camera and then what will happen now is we should see a screen saying checking firmware. So it's going through the boot sequence. And then our checking firmware appears. And it may well go black after this for a few moments. That's pretty normal. There we go. The screen's gone black. Wait about one minute. And then it's going to go into a proper boot up sequence. Our black screen's finished, the camera's now restarted and it's ready to go. What I always do once I've done this is go in to the camera info, check that the latest firmware's on. So you can see there it says firmware version. And then I'm going to go back into the SD card and just format the drive just to make sure that the firmware installer has been removed. Well guys, stay tuned for more 360 tips. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one.